So welcome to show number three of Caber 76 question and answers. I think I'm gonna come up with a better name that goes with OCD in some way. I just have not done that yet. Um, maybe this weekend. But uh, just a quick little overview of my week because I kind of want to do that every, every week too. So this week I did some really cool things. Um, number one being that I was on a podcast, the Otini cast with Kitty Kisses and Chill. And I had a blast. It's a SOTOR podcast and the guys were great. You know, Chill's been doing the show for a long time. Uh, he does an awesome job. And Kitty was just so cool to hang with. So I'm pretty excited about that. So if you haven't checked it out, go over to Adutini Cast on Twitter and you'll find all their information. I think that's their website too. Um, let's see what else I did. I played a little bit of the new Elder Scrolls patch or update. Um, thank you, Ahmed Sumadai, for grouping us up and uh, making us die by doing uh, a hard mode version of that new uh, dungeon that didn't work too well and I said F this and left um, <laughs> what else did I do I did a lot of gaming in the world of Warcraft with my girlfriend Ziani um, she is really starting to get into world of Warcraft and we had a really good time and uh, she's better geared than me and she reminded me about 6,000 times per day she'll send me text messages going what's it like hanging out with a gear score girlfriend who's 239 and I'm like just stop <laughs> just stop but she's cute she, she she can get away with it so uh we did a lot of that we've been running around Zareth mortis and uh learning that and um it's been fun i i've had a really really good time so i guess we'll get into the week so we're going to jump right into this week's question and answers and um this one was cool it says, how do you name alts? And apparently I don't know the English language because it should have said, how do you name your alts? But <laughs> apparently I flunked English as much as I flunked math. But we're not going to talk about that. That's a whole nother day. So this question really hit on pretty well. I'm pretty excited about it. When I posted it on Twitter, I got probably more feedback than I've ever gotten. And thank you guys so much for jumping on and saying you know, replying to the question and saying how you do it and how you come up with your names. It's freaking awesome that all of you guys replied to me. And I'm hoping that each week it gets bigger and better and you guys come up with some really cool replies and even throw me some questions because I'm always open for more questions. And the first reply comes from, I am going to butcher your name. I am definitely going to butcher your name. Gilnarv Quaztarik at Gtar. Tarek, apologize for butchering your name. They wrote, I use both a Sith and Twi'lek name generator for all my characters. Name is Radakar Earl Hetu. I'm trying to say it as if the way they would say it in Star Wars, and I don't know if I came anywhere close to that, but I definitely freaking tried. Um, I've used the name generator, so I think I know which one you're talking about. It's the one where you type in uh, Twi'lek name generator and it pops right up. And you could do that pretty much with any species or um, any type of class, and it comes with names. I've used it a lot for Warcraft, Star Wars Deal Republic. Um, I have not used it for ESO yet, but it has some really cool name generation features on it, and it's really good for like RP if you're playing like D&D or Star Wars RP. Um, it's really cool, and, and I, I use it too. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty freaking awesome. So the next one comes from my girlfriend who is new to twitter and new to the world of warcraft so drop her a follow if you like because uh she's she's starting to get into this uh game and she's really really liking it her name is ziani and her twitter is at pandaren for life she loves her pandaren so she writes i either pick a fun word that is cajun french like tohululu a fiddler crab i probably butchered that or just click random till i like how it sounds oh that's fancy clicks yes <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's she's interesting, but that you know these are words that mean something to her. She's Cajun, so she you know these words mean stuff to her, and, and she follows the culture, and that's awesome. You know, I I do that sometimes with some of my characters too. Um, there's certain things of history that I really like, and I'll explain it later. But it's uh, it's something I definitely do too. So I I get it. Although I don't know anything French, so you'll have to teach me. But, but that's a whole nother day. Next one comes from 
lacfed, I may have said it wrong, fed underscore lack at Twitter. They wrote with A and the, uh, I always butcher that, the apostrophe or is that the accent in my alt name? Because I think it's an accent. It depends on the language, right? I think it is, but they wrote with that in their, in their alt names. So, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it. I see so many people using that accent and things and, and trying to separate, especially if you've got a name, like, you know, you want somebody else's name, like Luke Skywalker and you wrote Luke, you know, the accent, you know, Skywalker or something like that. I don't, I don't personally like it, but I don't, I don't, you know, if it works for you, that's freaking awesome. Go for it. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name and I butchered the pronunciation because apparently I'm as bad at English as I was at math. And uh, you, you could ask, you can ask Imperia that one later on. She'll reply and tell you I sucked at math. Apparently I also suck at English. No, I didn't know that till tonight, but hey, cool. So <laughs> the next one comes from Emberia. That was not planned, I tell you. <laughs> Emberia wrote, it depends. My main and first ever game name is made up by me and was chosen because of the fire tattoo I gave that first character. Since then, I typically will draw from mythology and I will try to match my character's personality and occupation. So for example, in games with a necromancer class, I can name that character Styx after the river of the dead in Greek mythology. If last names are an option, the name is Sharon, which I probably butchered, after the ferryman that rows the boat on the river Styx and takes you to the afterlife. Lastly, I will draw names from nature. As a biologist, one of my specialties over my career has become uh, the, the study of butterflies. <laughs> Le Lepitoria? <laughs> I don't know, Imperia. You can correct me on that. I have used butterfly species names for all my characters if I feel they fit the character. And she probably will. She has a butterfly garden in her backyard. But that's cool. That's what she likes, you know? And it's very cool when you go into mythology. I like that whole mythology aspect to naming characters. I feel like that's something that you can draw from. Um, they've seen a lot of people using like Greek mythology in characters, uh, gods. Um, I use, and I will tell you straight out, I use a lot of Native American uh, lore and mythology to my characters. I love Native American culture, and I do dig deep into that. So I get it. But it's really cool that you actually like kind of come up with little bits and pieces of that mythology. Like I never knew about the ferryman that rose the, the boat on the river taking you to the afterlife. That's actually really cool, and I never know what that meant, and I probably should have asked you. So that's that's cool. On to the next one. Trixie Triss wrote, Trix, at Trixie Triss, I have themes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I do too. I do too, Trixie. I like to come up with a theme in my mind of what I want to do, and sometimes I will stick to that theme. Um, it's kind of a little bit too like with, with characters. I think I was, uh, you know, I use the same names in most of my games, and I bring them in, and they follow the same like theme that I've used them in, and they follow this theme. But yours is probably more in detail. You'll have to go into detail about what your themes are. That would be really cool. You know, maybe like we'll come up with a Q&A and you can jump in and throw in some of your themes. So if I can come up with a cool question, but I can kind of base something on the themes. I'm kind of interested. So definitely, thank you. The next one comes from Mortegeist at Mortegeist. IRP and most of my tunes have their own identity and name. I do incorporate Geist into a few others as well. I have Mortegeist on every server. <laughs> That is fucking cool. I don't think I could do that, Mordecai's. Um, I always thought about putting Kaber pretty much on every server, but I don't. I don't think I could do that. I would be like me with my personality and my OCD. I would be like, I have to log on to Kaber on every server. Oh, Warcraft has how many servers? I would probably lose my mind. That is definitely a possibility. But that's really cool, and I do see a lot of people using parts of their name. Uh, so seeing Geist in your names is kind of cool too. And you know, when you do have the um, the RP aspect and you're playing that character in an RP aspect, it's very cool to kind of come up with a name that matches the personality that you have within your mind and what you're thinking about. Um, I do that with a Thal, actually. Um, I'll go into him a little bit later, but he has a personality and an RP story. So it always kind of goes with what I want to do. So I, I like that too. That's really cool. Thank you, Mordegeist. And on to the next one, which I'm going to grab a cup of coffee real quick here. 
It comes from Queen Cyanide at Queen of 60392048 on Twitter. And I will not say that trying to fast because it sounds like a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Using name generators and switching them up a bit, but it has to fit the character that is in my head as I got head cannon for each and every one. You know what, Queen Cyanide? I do too. That you, what you do is pretty much what I do. I have a lot of headcanon in um, in my mind. Like a lot of, I will sometimes spend my day thinking of a character, and then that headcanon story will just come up in my head, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get that name, and I'll run home and I'll name save. So I, I get it, and uh, I've used generators like I said before. And if the generator fits what I have in my head for that character, and it sounds like it belongs there, then I I, I use it. So it's. It's a good point. I really do like that. And uh, you play a lot like I do when it comes to name generation and creation. Thank you, Queen Cyanide. The next one is Joe, a filthy casual. I love that name. At that lefty Joe to be funny. You know, Joe, you're not the only one. I know a couple people that do that. And sometimes, and you know, like if you're running a dungeon and you just happen to see somebody with a cool name, I'll message them and I'll be like, hey, your name's fucking awesome. I really like that name. It's really cool. And I do it sometimes too. I um I have a Pandaren and I grew up in the 80s and one of my favorite like people in the 80s was Shokasugi the Ninja and like Revenge of the Ninja and Pray for Death. Like I love that that guy. He's just freaking awesome. And uh, I named my Pandaren after him. And to me it's funny in my head, but every time he's doing his little kung fu moves, I'm like, "Oh, it's Shokasugi." It's really cool. So, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Um, I think there's another, you'll see later at the end of this, there's another person that does that. And uh, we all get a kick out of it, definitely, definitely. Thank you, Joe. The next one comes from good old Ahmed Sumadai, who I was told I said your name wrong. I can't help the fact that you keep random generating names that I can't even pronounce, but it's all good. I'm proud of myself. I get closer and closer every time. He writes, I name all of my tunes based on their race in game has names so elves get elven names orcs get orcish names etc i actually had to read that twice because i was like what do you mean you base your tune your tunes names on the race they are in game but i get it now so yeah i mean that makes sense if you have an elf you want to name them after an elven name or an orc under an orcish name or a uh high um high mountain tauren like you want to like kind of stick with like i do i stick with native american names on taurens and I think that's another thing with like high elves. High elves are very much, you know, even in Warcraft, you want to stick with the elven names. So I get that too. I do that sometimes too. I'll do, a, if I'm making an orc, I'll go to the orc name generator and I will we'll go, give me an orc name and I'll look it up. So I get that, definitely. Thank you, Ahmed. The next one comes from Shantyman Gaming, who I want to personally apologize to. Shantyman, you reached out and gave me an answer last week, and I completely skipped it. I don't know if I deleted the slide or what I did, but I definitely screwed up, and that's on me. So again, I apologize, Shantyman Gaming. So you can find Shantyman Gaming, who's very responsive and very cool person to uh, chat with on Twitter, at Shantyman Gaming. Uh, I would definitely su suggest going out and following him, because he's he replies and he's very interactive. So cool guy. He writes, used to just use a random generation, but now that I'm a small online presence, there's always a variation of shanty or shanty man in the names. Yeah, you know, that's that seems to be a lot of the, uh, <clears throat> a lot of the in thing that people do. Like, you know, you probably have like shanty man tank, shanty man <laughs> healer, you know, I mean, I, I think McVan does it too. And I think he says that later on down in the slide, he does a lot of the same thing. It makes sense too, because then you, especially if you're going by your, you know, your persona online, like I'm Caber76, so I thought about, it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about it too. I I have a Caber, you know, Caber's always my main, but I have another Caber that I I think I had, Caber 1 is what I originally needed because he was the first version of Caber. And then I thought to myself, if I stick with that theme, um, I would have about Caber 137 at this point. So we're not gonna do that. And then I, I get all crazy and OCD in my head and I'm like, no, I have one Caber. He's real and this is his personality and he's this person in this game. So I have to have somebody new because the headcanon in my mind doesn't match up with the version I see on this game. So it, uh, it makes sense though. Like I said, it definitely does make sense and I get it. So thanks again, Shanty. And I am sorry that I missed your question last week. So on to the next one. 
I swear I did not plan it this way. Fred McMahon at Fred McMahon on Twitter. And uh, Fred's another one that's, um, he's a friend of mine that I've known for a while. And uh, he does this too. He wrote, I try to keep the same name, but use variants. This way my guild knows it's me. My Druid is the only class that I has a different name. Named him a type of bear. And and McMahon does. He uses the same name scheme on all of his characters too, just like you, Shanty. And um, his main is like separated by using a different name because that's the main, you know, that's the one that uh, he uses the majority of the time. But I know what he's on and all because I always see a version of McMahon on. And I'm like, oh, you're on and all again, huh? So yeah, he's, he's the same. So the next one comes from Joda at Joda89. All of them have Joda followed by the class. So my rogue alt is Joda Rogue and so on. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be the common theme tonight. <laughs> and it does make sense. And like I said, I've thought about it too, Joda. It's one of those things where you're like, that's my online name, right? So let me just be Kaber Warrior, Kaber Tang, Kaber Paladin, Kaber... It, it kind of just fits. And it's like, when I play, um, what's that game that we play? Uh, the Division 2. I notice they just use your battle tag. Like, they don't have a name for the character, so they always see Kaber 76. So it doesn't matter which character you make, you only see Kaber 76. So I've thought about it when I play that game. It always makes me kind of want to come back to, like, WoW and SOTOR and change my names to fit Kaber. But like I said, in my mind, all my characters have head cannon, so it just wouldn't work for me. But... It's cool. I definitely think that's the theme that most people follow these days. Thank you, Joda. Appreciate it. Next one. Hoax at Hoax Lock. They wrote, same as Joda. <laughs> Seems to be the common theme. Yup. Everybody likes to just use a variation of their name in some, uh, in their class or some variation of their name. And makes sense. So the next one comes from Electric Smurf at Sound Wizard LLC. Electric Smurf wrote, I just make something that's funny to me. Miracle Maximilian, Gorf the Hunter, Dave, and Paco Holiday. <laughs> who's who's Dave Smurf? I don't know about you having any characters named Dave. That's a that's a new one. So um he does have Max, you know, Maximilian, but yeah, he's that that's Smurf is the same way. He loves to be funny. And I, I know somebody earlier said the same thing. Excuse me, I felt the need for coffee there. But, you know, it's trying to come up with something that's funny or personal to you. And I think that uh, my favorite of Electric Smurf, and I feel like every week I've got a story about Electric Smurf's characters or something he says, but my favorite is Paco Holiday. Because Paco Holiday and... Uh, in, in uh, Kaber run around together in Red Dead Online and we play and he's dressed up as Doc Holliday and he had to get the outfit completely like Doc Holliday from the Tombstone movie and he's got the sombrero on to represent the fact that you know he wants to be part of that you know the Mexican culture um and it's it's a blast like we have such a fun time playing it and uh he's very creative and I love his naming and I think the being funny is what keeps it going sometimes, especially when you're you're coming up with characters all the time and you know, you find it funny and it may not be funny to other people, but it's funny in your head. And that's headcanon, you know? So uh I think that's the last one for tonight, and I wanna thank everybody. Just so fucking awesome to have all of you guys reply and uh, I hope to get more next week. I'll uh keep my eye out and see if everybody replies. So I'm gonna go right on right now to my uh answer so that was just awesome i'm so excited about the fact that uh everybody replied and that was one of the uh the longest um q a's i've had and it was just such a fun time to answer all those and, and talk about it and hear what you guys thought so i'm gonna get right into mine now and uh give you my answer so my answer is pretty much that i like to use the same names um caber he is the main character that I normally play. And as I've said in previous shows, Kaber is a guy that came from a fiction story in high school and now he's my alter online ego. He's the name I use in everything and people call me when I play games. So he just was passed through the years. Um, 
like I said, he started in a fiction story, and from that fiction story, he's become a wrestler, <laughs> a sim, uh, a warrior, a paladin, um, a Jedi Knight, a, uh, I think he was a Beastmaster in SWG. Uh, he's been a uh, Templar at ESO. He is a cowboy in Red Dead. I mean, he's he's everything. I think he's a secret agent in Division 2. So it's uh, just a name I passed down. The same with Yarg. My name, real name is Gary, if anybody didn't know that. And Yarg is always my backwards name, and he's always one of my mains. But I've explained that story, so I think I don't want to bore you guys to death with that. And I, the newest one that I think I've, I've passed down a couple times now is Athal. And Athal actually comes from one of my favorite people in American history, Ethan Allen, the Revolutionary War hero who led the Green Mountain Boys. I really love the American Revolution history. I'm a big history buff. Um, and Ethan Allen, his story about leading the Green Mountain Boys to steal the cannons and taking Fort Ticonderoga has always stuck with me. And I grew up in an area where uh, he was at a lot and I saw Fort Ticonderoga. So I always felt kind of a connection to him. So that's where Athal comes from. Although other people have said, your name is Ethel, like an old lady. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Athal, but whatever. Um, I uh, do use the random name generators a lot because when you've got as many alts as I have, you just kind of run out of ideas. So I use them. I'll do a lot of what you guys are saying about, you know, having an orc name or having a Sith pure blood name. I'll use I'll use those generators. And like I said, I love Native American history. So my Torrens always get named after Native Americans. I think I've recently made a hunter in World of Warcraft that I tried to name after a uh, Native American and tried to make him look like a Native American. I just, I love Native American culture. It's just very fascinating to me. So I use that a lot. I'll go to the web and do like, you know, I'll look up Native American names from the Navajo and, and uh, other tribes. But I do, I do use the generator a lot because you just, you run out of ideas. And I can come up, I think I, another person I love in history is Abraham Lincoln. So I think I had Ablin at one time who was named after Abraham Lincoln, but it's, um, it's just name gen name generating is fun. It gives you that, um, you know, that idea. That you take that creation and you've got this view of this character you're making, and all of a sudden you add this name to it, and you're like, damn, yeah, that's what I saw the whole time in my head. So, it was awesome, and I want to uh, I want to thank you guys for all participating again, and I'm having a blast, and uh, I'm hoping very soon to get the green screen to get rid of this stuff behind me because I know y'all love seeing my kitchen. But, <laughs> um, and Electric Smurf and myself are working on an intro song and an outro song. So hopefully we'll get that going and uh, that'll be added to my show. So I'll get the question up at the uh, over the weekend and uh, hopefully you guys will reach out. And thank you again. Have a great night.